Black sheep were traditionally considered undesirable, their wool of little value. We really want the order to be a place for the marginalised, a home for those who feel somewhat like the black sheep of society, even the black sheep of the church. We don't want to create a community of people moping about licking their wounds so the name is a little bit tongue in cheek, uh, but we recognise that everyone is on a journey. We want to create a community of people who are proud to show their scars, to show where they have been. And everyone is welcome here, no matter who they are or where they are on that journey. The Gates is our physical home, with a bar area staffed by volunteers serving food and drinks and two other distinctly styled cafe rooms, there is something here for pretty much everyone. Alongside the cafe is our well kitted out chapel, hosting everything from our family gatherings to film clubs, kids parties and even banquet style discussion groups. Community is what the Order of the Black Sheep is all about. We have fun. We sit, reflect and meditate together. We hear reflections on the life and the teaching of Jesus. We regularly take communion together. And we sit and eat, getting to know more and more about each other over a meal. I suppose initially, because I know Sarah and Mark, and I wanted to support them in what they were doing. About a year ago, I was, uh, it was yeah, it was, it was pretty much on my knees, and I was uh, suffering. And a friend of mine says, "You want to come to the gates with some people there that I really need you to uh, talk to and want you to meet." And I didn't really even know that this place was a church; I just thought it was a cafeteria. And then eight, nine months later, I was invited round for a dinner, and it turned out it was uh, Mark. And, Vicar here, he put on a lovely dinner for us, and I got to introduce to all the people. And yeah, I instantly thought, yeah, these are the kind of people I want to associate myself with. People who are on the same page as me, people who want to help and want to work for the communities, particularly in the, in the Chesterfield area, which is what I'm about. So after this uh, this dinner I had, I've, I've been coming to the gates pretty much every other Sunday since then, and yeah, and I, I intend to keep this up. Just curiosity, really, if I'm honest. A new cafe in town, better than Nero's and all that, so I'll, oh, I'll get a try. The food? The wine? No, not really. <laughs> um, why? Because it's good, I think, um, as Christians, because I am one, or try to be a good one, um, I think that we should be part of something good, something that reaches out beyond ourselves and helps people. Well, hey, it's a nice cup of tea. <laughs> I can always come in here and chat with people, meet up with friends. Why well, don't I come back? It's the ambience of the place, it's the customers, it's the staff, it's the it's what it's all about. It's I, Like, I'll reiterate, it's, it, this is where I want to be, this is the community I want to be a part of. It's not necessarily about religion for me, it's about just people coming together and helping, just being excellent with each other. For you to hide my shame. I'm not ashamed of who I am here, whereas if I walked into a church, I don't feel quite as... I feel different from the people in the church. Whereas if you come here, it feels relaxed, it feels like home. And you can be yourself. Well, I used to go to church religiously uh, as a kid. Uh, I had a lot of shit happen, uh, lost my faith and then talking to Mark and of slowly coming back, enjoying yourself and he doesn't ram it down your throat either. It helps you as much as you can. I think it's the community feel that people that aren't interested in church feel that they can come and be part of what, what's going on and people that do want to do church enjoy it too and we can all be a community together. Got me staff and people I've met here by far. Oh. And and tea. The tea's good. <laughs> it's a time that you can spend hours uh, in community and you get to really chat to people and eat together, which is something I felt that
that Jesus did a lot with his disciples and it's a very relaxed environment and, and you can be yourself, you're not having to fit into a stereotype. Yeah. I like the family here, it's good. Friendly atmosphere, the feeling of community and the feeling of a big family. Chapel is amazing. <laughs> what do I love about it apart from the chapel? Um, family, friends, and we're all different. I feel like you belong here no matter where, who you are, what type of person you are. I mean, I bring one of my friends in here who would, before this person had to be caught dead, hanging around with some of the people who can be classed as emos or goths or stuff. And then she comes here and she, she, she loves it. I think, I think it's pretty good that there's a, like a, a weirdo vicar doing so much for people who are not classed as normal, you know, lost souls, as people say, black sheep, if you will, of people's families. Uh, I think it's pretty good that, well, they're helping anyone. Irrelevant of black, white, gay, lesbian, got jab, the rap. If I say the gates, I have two very happy children. They even love coming here. Sunday is probably their favourite thing to come in, to be with everybody. And it's because it's relaxed, they can have fun and they get to listen. So yeah, they love it. To me, it's not about singing songs to him all the time that are all wonderful and nice, which there's probably nothing wrong with that, but it's about seeing how he lived and trying, trying to live like that as best we can, which is a lifelong learning process. I don't know. I were, were going to say some, some guy with a beard and a robe with a halo on his head, but we all know that's uh, not it. I, 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 suppose, I, suppose, I suppose Jesus could be like a, a little bit of release or something like that. Because uh, I've had some pretty shit stuff in my past and I blamed Jesus when I was going to church and hence why I stopped. But I've also had some really good stuff when I've asked for it in desperation, like got made homeless. I prayed to God for the first time in 10 years. Next day I got a house. I was off the street. So. My friend. Um, someone that I can speak to when I can't speak to anybody else. Someone that died so I could go to heaven. That's about what he is to me. Yeah.